It's my time and I'm coming out to play I get on that beat, I, I wanna misbehave Yeah, go, go, look at me, oh, go, go Make me wanna fight, fight All the time shining, I'm shining now Makes no difference if the world ain't listening I'm never gonna change So what if I'm kicking up dirt? I wanna be heard Stop saying my thing I'm gonna shake up his boots And dance on in the pouring rain I'm crazy, baby, insane I'm crazy, baby, insane It's sitting here from Book Nerds Corner, and today I'm going to bring you a book haul, as well as my messy hair. Um, I have not, I don't really buy books that often anymore. I used to buy a lot of books. Um, the last book haul I did was my April May book haul, and that's the last one I did. Um, so I have split this book haul into two categories one is June and September, and the other is I don't know where the paper went, but it's October and November. Um, so let's just get right into it. Let's start with the first books I got this um, in June and September were um, The Odyssey and The Histories. Uh, these are two relatively classic books that I found at the Goodwill for 99 cents and I thought that I would pick them up because I have a pretty big classics collection down here. Um, I don't add these books to my TBR because they're just a collection that I'm trying to accumulate and eventually read, so they stay down at the bottom of my shelf, and if I feel like picking one up, I will, but I normally don't add them to my TBR because they're going to be there for a while. So yeah, the next book I have is um, Savor the Moment sorry, by Nora Roberts, which I got from, we have these little book libraries all over town where you go take a book and put a book in so it's just like swapping books and I picked this up because every time I see a Nora Roberts book I try to get it if I know I don't have it because I do own a lot of her books and I would like to eventually accumulate all of them. Um, next is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I actually got this for my boyfriend to read because he's not really a big book fan. I mean he reads, he really liked the Clockwork series, um, but but that's just because I read it to him. <laughs> I'm sure he would have not enjoyed it as much if uh, he would have read it to himself. But he, he's, a, he's a reader, sort of, but not like me. But he, he didn't really get into this very much yet. He says he wants to read it. So just to give him a few months to actually be like, hey, I want to read that. Um, the next book that I have is Thinking of You, A Treasury of Handmade Cards, and I am getting married soon, so I wanted to pick up, th this is like a bunch of invitation ideas, sorry for the squeaking, my dog's playing with her toy, Matilda, um, this has a couple ideas, if I decide to make my own cards, it comes in real handy, I got it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, um, the next three books that I have here, I don't know if they're in order, let's just say they are, are Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. Uh, what bothers me is that the Shatter Me cover is different. And I do plan on rebuying that because it really bothers me. Um, the next books I have are my October-November books. So let's start from the beginning, and that is Room by Emma Donahue. Um, I found this inside a little library as well. It was actually a little library in the hospital. Because um, I was in the hospital last month. Anyway, um, Room by Emma Donahue, like I said, sorry, I made it a little awkward. Anyway, this book I found, and it was hardcover, and I was like, yeah, I think I'll just get it, because, well, it was free. So, I did go back and put another book in, I think, or I got somebody to do it for me. Um, then next is Invisibility by Andrea Kramer, Kramer and David Leviathan, which I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I love these these rigid pages right here. I just love them. Can't get over them. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd pick it up because, again, it's a hardcover for a dollar. And it's a pretty popular author, and I thought, why not? It's a dollar. Um, the next books I got, I got from this uh, book store thing online, this online bookstore that I found called Thrift Books. And the, it's kind of like Book Outlet. But they do have a little bit more variety. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I'd choose thrift books over book outlet. I think they're pretty even. I would go to both. Um, but 
The first two books I got from that is Forgiving Lies and Deceiving Lies by Molly McAdams, which Molly McAdams is one of my favorite authors, and she isn't very well known. Um, she's the author of Taking Chances, which is my favorite book of hers. Also, there's a book called From Ashes and a, a, a book that goes with Taking Chances called Stealing Harper that go together. It's like the girl's point of view and then the boy's point of view. It's the same story, but um, I suggest you read both of them. The only place you can really find them is on the Kindle. I have trouble finding her books on Amazon that aren't ebooks, and I could not find any on Book Outlet, and I haven't really checked like the big, big bookstores like Barn, Barnes and Noble or Books a Million or anything like that, and I couldn't find them ever at the library. So if Books is the first place I found them, and they're actually all of them are on there. So I thought I'd get the two I haven't read. So. Yeah, I was really excited about that. Next is The Book of Broken Hearts and 20 Boy, Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler. Another one that I don't know if it's a very popular author, but she sounds really interesting. And then there's also another book by her that I want to get called Bittersweet. So they also had that on thrift books. So I would really like to get all of her books too because they sound really good and it's something I think I would like. Next is called Nobody But Us by Kristen Hallbrook. Or Hall, yeah, Hallbrook. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Again, when I go to the Dollar Tree, I always go to the little book section that we have because there are sometimes some really good books that are only a dollar, and sometimes I find little treasures like this, which are just like cute contemporary books that I would like and that I would probably enjoy. And it's short, so I could get through this quick. Um, next, I have a cookbook called Quick from Scratch Pasta, and it's a whole book of how to make different kinds of pasta, with different kinds of noodles and different kinds of sauce and all that stuff. And I'm a big pasta person. I want to open my own pasta cafe type thing one day, and I think this might help, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, the next two books that I have are probably my favorite that I've gotten this month, and I got both of these this month. Um, the first one is the Twilight 10th edition, 10th anniversary edition with Life and Death on the back. Um, I actually won this in the Fantropolis contest that they had on Instagram, and I, um, I entered my book Instagram in it, and I am really glad that I won. I didn't think I would, because I really wanted this book, but it was so expensive, and then I won it, and I was so excited, so I'm really glad I won it, and I love, um, Toshopolis, and I also followed the other co- moderator of Fantropolis and she's pretty cool too. So I definitely uh, recommend you go follow Fantropolis if you if you don't. And um, so I'm really happy for this that I got this and I'm really happy that I won. I'm really surprised but I'm happy. <laughs> um, the last book I got this month I actually got today and I got it from my boyfriend. I didn't think that I would get it because um, we I don't really have much money, and it just came out recently, and I was really excited about it, but I didn't, I wasn't going to get it. And it's Winter by Marissa Meyer. I woke up this morning, and there was a package, and I opened it, and it was for my boyfriend, and it was this book. And I'm so excited, because now I, I can read Cinder, and Scarlet, and Crest, and Ferris, and Winter. I can read them all, and I plan on reading them in that order. Ferris will be right before this one because that's how they came out. So I just thought I'd read them like that. Anyway, um, that's all the books I read. I bought 10 books in October and November. And I bought 8 books in June, July, August, and September. So I did pretty good. I didn't buy that many in this vicinity of time. It's been almost 6 months. But Christmas is coming up and I'll probably accumulate more than I have in the past, like, 5 months, 6 months, whatever. So, yeah, and I will be doing, like, a separate haul for that at the end of December. Anyway, yeah, um, so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And comment down below if you have any suggestions for book videos, tag videos, anything you want to see. I do TV shows, books, regular tags. Uh, my boyfriend is willing to do tags, also my sister, so anything you want to see, I'll do. So yeah, um, also don't forget to go follow my book Instagram, which is booknerds underscore underscore corner, and I, I am happy to announce that I do have 1,200 followers, maybe a little more than 1,200, and I'm really excited that I have so many, and that so many people are enjoying my um, Instagram, and I'm trying to get some of them over here to see if maybe they might enjoy my videos, because I really love doing this for people who enjoy it and who like it, and 
I just, I really love it. And I'm really glad that, that people are actually getting something out of me posting book things every day because books are my favorite thing in the world and I love sharing joy about books with people. So thank you guys for watching and I really hope you enjoyed my video like I said already. Um, I think that's all for this video. But thank you for watching and listening to me and my grossness. <clears throat> so I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye! Gotham. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this. I've heard of it before it came out. Or not before it came out. Before I started watching it.